Fix NVIDIA control panel not working issue. Below are some troubleshooting methods you can try. 1. Go in NVIDIA GE Force Experience dash drivers dash reinstall the driver dash quick install. 2. Sign out and sign back your NVIDIA account in for NVIDIA GE Force Experience. 3. Restart your computer to get NVIDIA control panel to show up. 4. Check if the NVIDIA display container service is running. 5. Do a reinstall of NVIDIA drivers via NVIDIA experience. 6. Here's a temporary fix, put nvplugy.exe in the startup folder. Hint, the all users startup folder is located at c colon backslash program data backslash microsoft backslash windows backslash start menu backslash programs backslash startup. The current user startup folder is located at c colon backslash users backslash left bracket username right bracket backslash app data backslash roaming backslash microsoft backslash windows backslash start menu backslash programs backslash startup or restart the containers executable the nvidia container process 7 close the nvplugy.exe process with wtm and rerun nvidia control panel later 8 go to services search for nvidia display driver service and then choose manual 9 disable windows 10 fast boot in the power options menu 10 clean install the nvidia driver Display driver uninstaller, DDU. 11. Restart all 3, maybe, 4 and, you should not miss out on the NVIDIA Display Container LS, NVIDIA Services. Or, make sure NVIDIA Display Driver Service, LS, is running 12. Right click on your desktop, run NVIDIA Control Panel from the context menu. 14. Run WTM and end the nvpue.exe, and slash or so called nvidia.display.container, nvdisplay.container.exe, process. 15. Re enable the surround system, if you have any, and then disable again. 16. Remove NVIDIA driver and all NVIDIA software using the recommended uninstall tool pro in this video guide. Open setup for driver and choose custom installation. Now untick everything and install only graphics driver choose perform a clean installation when showed. Note, please don't install GE Force experience. Now go right click on desktop, personalize. Screensaver dash dash change power settings dash dash choose high performance. Note, if you cannot see high performance, click on show additional plans. Plan B, install the latest NVIDIA driver as the admin user. Note, you had better completely close all unrelated and slash or unused programs. 17. If you're using multi-monitors, try disconnecting one or two from your main computer. 18. Perform the clean boot on your computer. You may need to remove existing, third-party, antivirus software, temporarily. Nineteen. Back up current BIOS settings, then update or reset your BIOS. See related info at http colon slash slash bit dot ly slash two ovh man. Backup, restore, and revert BIOS settings. Twenty. Find and run NVIDIA control panel in Windows 10's hidden control panel. Twenty one. Download and install WHQL game ready v three eighty eight point forty three at http colon slash slash bit dot ly slash two ezfd seven x as the admin user. Twenty two. Go to C colon backslash program white space files backslash NVIDIA white space corporation backslash display dot NV container. Or, you may directly run that exe file as the admin user. Right click on NV display dot container dot exe and select copy. Press Windows key and R and run shell startup. It should open C colon backslash users backslash your computer username here backslash app data backslash roaming backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash start white space menu backslash programs backslash startup now paste NV display dot container dot exe as a shortcut in that folder. Right click on NV display dot container dot exe. Shortcut you just made and go to properties. Now in the shortcut tab go to advance and check run as administrator press ok, now go to the compatibility tab and check run this program as administrator, now hit apply then ok. 23.
Extract setup file like 381 7-64-bit international WHQL to a temp folder. Open device manager display adapters double click on GPU driver tab update driver choose browse my computer for driver software button important, select the bottom button, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Hit the have disk button browse to your, temp folder, backslash, extracted driver folder, backslash display dot driver folder. And you simply click open button. 24. Check if you have the latest updates for .NET. Framework and slash or, Microsoft's, vCredit is 2010, aka, Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable package, installed. 25. Try a different screen resolution. 26. Try a SFC slash scano. 27. Uninstall current driver, restart your system when the uninstallation is complete and, roll back to an earlier NVIDIA driver. 28. Make sure all NVIDIA services are running. To do so the posts above do just that. Open Task Manager. Go to Processes. Check Show all processes from all users. Sort processes by name. Find NVIDIA section. Click NVIDIA Control Panel icon on your desktop. Note, if it's not on your desktop, you can find NVIDIA Control Panel in Windows Control Panel or Start Menu. When you click the icon watch for Env Plugy or another NVIDIA process to appear in the Processes tab. Note, it won't last long so you have to be sort of quick, but you have plenty of tries. Once you are able to find the process right click and open file location. Under end plug application at C colon backslash program files backslash NVIDIA corporation backslash control panel client right click and run as admin. 29. Check out your startup program. the task manager and disable some NVIDIA related items like NV backend and NV streamers core etc, re-enable them and reboot. 30. Download the aforementioned DDU app and uninstall NVIDIA and all of its components. After rebooting your system, shut down your computer fully, take out power cord and battery, if you have any, let your computer sit for 5 to 10 minutes for a component reset. 
Turn back on your PC, redownload drivers from NVIDIA website. 31. Scan your system for potential adware, pups even malware using the recommended Avast Internet Security and the free version of malware eBytes. 32. Run WTM to end the nvxdsync.exe. Process, then open nvcp. 33. If you're using any USB device, please remove such an item properly. Open the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, select drivers from the top. Near the top, check out if you something like GeForce Game Ready Driver version March 6, 33. Notice to the far right there is three dots. Select the three dots and reinstall driver custom installation wait for preparing to install. Window to finish. Select perform a clean installation install. Other voice on the web, enable and update your NVIDIA graphics card with device manager using local driver you download from NVIDIA site.